Now, renowned for the delicious fish, particularly in Kenya, Lake Victoria, however, abounds with myths and taboos linked to fishing. Here's our reporter, Victor Ogale, with this interesting tale. Lake Victoria, the world's second largest freshwater lake that stretches to neighboring Tanzania and Uganda with a total surface area of 68,800 square kilometers. Since time immemorial, the water body has been a source of livelihood to many. Fishing is a major economic activity around the lake. Fishermen have already returned to the shores with their night's catch and are busy cashing in from their sweat. While many residents of Kisumu city await the lake's produce, very few are aware of the beliefs and practices surrounding fishing and fishermen. In the Luo tradition, the art of fishing is considered not favorable for women. Jared Otieno has been a fisherman in Lake Victoria for 20 years. Together with his colleague Joseph Mimo, they stick out into the deep waters. <laughs> The Luo community adores and respects fish and fishing, and any issue that touches on fish is considered sacred, similar to other western islands such as Lango, Acholi, Atola, and Aluru are found in neighboring Uganda, and communities from Sudan and eastern Congo. At the shores of the lake, women continue with the daily routine of preparing fish before it heads out to the market. They give us their take on the fact that they are considered bad domain during fishing. Ile tamaduni ambayo imepitwa na wakati. Kwa sababu kama saa hivi hata kuna wamama ambao wanaenda mpaka ndani ingawaje sio wengi lakini kama kukaa kwa bota haina shida hukutana na mwanaume kama anaenda kazi au una shida kwa sababu kazi na bahari imekuwa kama kazi zingine. Na dia mimi nage ni kesra. Eh, dako and kesra ngataki women are viewed as bad luck. It is a belief in my community. If you meet a woman in the morning, it is bad luck. We are not allowed to go to the lake, not at all, because some of us are dirty. There is a twist, however, to the issue of women and the lake. The issue of women sticking out in the same water vessel as men has for long remained as a taboo in the expansive Luonyanza. Boat owners name these vessels of trade after their dead female relatives as this, they believe, brings good luck when fishing. Jared Otieno doubles up as a boat maker and a boat painter at Dunga Beach, Kisumu County. Having been an integral part in this fishing community, he confirms that boat naming is mainly done using names of the departed. <laughs> These names you see here, maybe 80% are people who depend on the other hand. They go for witchcraft. Boats must be cleaned by a witch doctor. For you to get a good production, you can even get a piece of cloth. Yeah, the dead person. You say, okay, I named this boat with the belief. Yule aliyekufa ata misaidia ni fanikiwe kuwa samaki kondani. If you do impact assessment on any project you do, you get that people are suffering. Because doing that means you have to sacrifice. Sacrificing you sacrifice with human beings. They die. With that witchcraft, you, get a, you have to sacrifice someone. So, for example, I can just pinpoint, even if you ask our mothers here, which boat has killed so many people and what, uh, what is his production capacity in this place. The other one is here, this yellow one. 
Such cultural practices, including the use of a suicide rope for success in the lake, are just but among the many fishing practices that have over the years continued to be practiced by many communities along the shores of Lake Victoria. Victor Ogale, KTN News, Kisumu County.